what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel we have a nice and beautiful question on the board that says x is equal to the square root of x raised to the power of the square root of x and we are told to look for the values of x well by inspection we can guess and say x is equal to 1 why because when I put 1 here on the left to be equal to the square root of 1 raised to the power of the square root of 1, we can say this will give us 1 to be equal to the square root of 1 is 1 raised to the power of the square root of 1 is also 1. So this gives us 1 to be equal to 1 to the power of 1 is 1 making the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side so when we say x is equal to one we are actually correct but that is not the only solution for x now how do we find the remaining solution for x we do this our first step will be for us to square both sides so i'll square the left so it will be x squared equal to i'll square the right so this is the square root of x raised to the power of the square root of x so I still need to square this now this becomes x squared to be equal to now I'm going to be applying the law of indices here that says when I have a to the power of m and this is raised to the power of n the law of indices says this becomes a to the power of m times n that means the powers multiply and if there is multiplication associating with this exponent, that means this expression can also be written as a to the n raised to the m. That is, they can switch position. So I'm going to be switching the positions here. So I have the square root of x raised to the power of 2. And this is raised to the power of the square root of x. That is it. So simplifying further, we have x squared to be equal to, now see that this square cancels out the square root, leaving behind x to the power of the square root of x. Now we'll go again. This time we also take the square of both sides. So we have x squared on the left. I'm going to be taking the square of the left hand side. This is equal to, we have x to the power of the square root of x on the right. I'm also going to be taking the square of the right hand side. Good. Now watch. Now we have x to the power of, no, the powers multiply. So 2 times 2 is 4. And this is equal to, this we have x to the power of, this power multiplies. So 2 times the square root of x is 2 root x that is it now see that the base on the left and on the right are equal so we can equate the powers so the power on the left is 4 equal to the power on the right is 2 root x now we're going to be dividing both sides by 2 so i divide the left hand side by 2 i divide the right hand side by 2 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 and this is equal to these two can cancel out leaving behind the square root of x now in order to get rid of this square root i have to take the square of both sides so i'll take the square of the right i'll take the square of the left so 2 squared is 4 and this is equal to now this square cancels out the square root leaving behind x let's write it the appropriate way so x is equal to 4 is also a solution but let's verify if it is really a solution so we have x to be equal to 4 now let's put it here so the left hand side will put 4 there equal to now this will be the square root of 4 raised to the power of the square root of 4 so this will be 4 equal to the square root of 4 is 2 raised to the power of the square root of 4 is also 2 so this will be 4 equal to 2 squared is 4. So we see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side.
So the values of x are x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 are solutions. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.